Um, so people are welcome to join, bring mats, you know, shit like that. Mm-hmm. To do all. One. Oh, yeah. Great job. All right, take a minute to breathe and down dog. Step up to the top of your mat. Bring your arms all the way up, flat back, reach to the sky, reach to the sky, and bring your arms down into prayer. Coming back up, lowering back down to your toes, up to flat back. Fingers to shins, holding onto the inside of your calves and pulling yourself forward for that deep stretch. Coming back up, raising your fingertips to the sky, falling back down to your toes, moving your right leg back and your left leg into down dog. Not tight? Me? I was so tired at the end of that. Oh my man, you're not going hard. I had just done like seven more, seven episodes that same day. I remember that crib. Coming back up. Sit in butterfly position. Oh, belly. Heels, bottoms of your soles of your feet together. Leaning forward, almost like you're smelling your toes. And stretch here. This is a great hip opener. Now we're going to walk to the top of our mat. Stand with your... Hands down to our toes. I definitely should have invited everybody to bring their mat. Practice. Mm-hmm. That's right. Namaste. opportunity to go to the Eat Drink Vegan Festival here in California at the Rose Bowl. It was so much fun because Damon got to bring Tallulah, Ava, and Lucky and to all experience vegan cooking. The only hiccup we had was in the beginning, Damon caught a reaction because he was so excited about eating so much food. He took too much insulin and it took us a little bit longer than we anticipated to get in. I'm having a reaction right now, so my sugar's low. So just waiting for it to happen. What happens with the reaction? It's going to probably be a diabetic. It's not the worst thing in the world. You're lucky you get insulin. Well, it's a good place to have a low, low blood sugar. That's why I wasn't eating. Because I'm trying to look like I got here. I don't eat a lot. So I'm probably probably not going to eat After that, we really got to enjoy some new, different vegan cuisine. We are live here at the Vegan Eat Drink Vegan Festival. I've already stuck my face with a few things. David's already gone through a reaction. And I'm about to get more food because apparently I get unlimited beer in this tiny ass cup because I just feel like upgrading oh, the curse. But that'll be next time. So, yes, stay tuned. I'm really, really excited it's about ass. getting a lot of ideas for recipes for next season. Our friends were there, and we really got to enjoy hey. some new foods from different restaurants from all over the world, which was a little bit disappointing because the next day I couldn't just go out in Los Angeles and grab my favorite burger. Here's a few things we really liked. Oh. Oh. Elbogie. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Making me hungry looking at this. That's delicious. <laughs> I think we're gonna be starving after this. Stuff. Everything. 
my god, this burger was so good. With the, with the, with the, the donut one was crazy too, though. I like this one better than Mahalo. Me too. Donut one was crazy. Thank you everyone for watching season two of Health is Well. Please join us next season for a little Hawaiian flavor. So it's the end of your first season. Yeah, I have one more episode. It's the, uh, it's the recap of the healing okay. party. Okay, well, get your people now. Get your people now. Do a little Q&A. Talk about the experience. Talk about health. <laughs> Wants to smoke. Hey, thank you guys so much for staying and watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. I, David made a good comment. I should have told everybody to bring yoga mats so you could do that four minute stretch while it was going, but um, next time. But yes, I, let me know if you guys have any questions or um, have any ideas for let, cooking. Let, yeah, let me say something. Okay, yeah, David on. wants to say something. I just wanted to say how proud I am of Raquel. Um, you know, she's been taking care of me for a while. And, you know, I didn't want to be so selfish. I felt like the rest of the world should understand how it is to be loved and taken care of. And she also does a really good job of putting the show together. She edits the show. She does everything herself along with Camila, the editor, her editor. Who's here? Who's here? Hey, Camila. Camila, wave. And, and, she's, and she's real humble about it. So, you know, I like to brag for her, but she's done, what, this is your sixth, that's your sixth show? That's the ninth Episode. show. My bad. We have ninth. One more to come out, which and, is the healing party. So. And again, my the network is really inspired by her. My whole point of view in life has been inspired by her, and that's what the network really. I want the network to be about health is wealth, taking care of your family, taking care of the dogs, taking care of everyone that you love, and making it look cool. And she's doing it. She embodies it. She's the star of the network. Everyone give our card for oh, please. I love her card. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So yeah. any questions, talk to her. But I think the conversation is how um, important health is. Uh, you know, us transitioning into trying to be vegan-ish, you know, and just, you know, and all the other things day to day. Because this is her life day to day. We just really just captured, put a camera on it, you know. Yeah. So there you go. I'm, well, I'm, I'm done. I'm not taking over. I just wanted to say that. Damon really pushed me to do this and to even do this Zoom um, because he does Zooms like every day, three times a day. And um, I really, really appreciate everybody for joining. Um, Talk about the mushroom slides. So the mushroom slides are a big hit always over here. Um, I wish I could have actually made them, but I've had a hard time actually even finding those mushrooms during the uh, quarantine. Uh, they've been really hard to find certain like, basic kind of mushrooms. Um, that, those would still work. Those ones just have more of a pulley kind of a barbecue feeling when you eat those. Um, so they're exciting, but yeah, I don't know. Does anybody have any questions? I really appreciate everybody for jumping on. I have so many people from different aspects of my life right here. It's just, it's, it's a lot of fun and I really appreciate it. So. Hey. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed watching you make the mushroom slides and I wanted to know if um, you chose mushrooms as a substitute for like proteins. And then what are some other um, slides you can make um, with using other things outside of meat for protein? Um, okay, so I've used, uh, so the mushrooms, they have a, mushrooms have such a good texture, you can almost substitute them for like a seafood or you can substitute them for a meat type of feeling. And they kind of have a similar texture, uh, especially if you cook them right, um, you can nail it. And with the sauce, you really can't go wrong. When you got lots of sauce on vegan stuff, I mean, everything tastes great. So, um, but another thing, one of my favorite things to do right now is, um, what, what do I make? It's like a chickpea, it's a chickpea slider. So it, it's kind of like an egg salad um, or a chicken salad, but you smash up the chickpeas and you put everything in like you would for a chicken salad. You put the vegan mayonnaise, you put the relish, you put the mustard, you put the, um, you know, a little bit of celery and stuff in there. And I put a little bit of, um, I really like to put a little bit of, uh, not spicy, uh, what is it? What's that? It's, can't even think of the name. Um, it's an Indian flavor. It's called, um, starts with a C. Curry. curry. Thank you. I like to put curry in it, it tastes great. Um, but that's that's one of my favorite, and that's like one of my favorite lunches right now. I'll, put, I'll slather that on a um, slice of bread with lettuce and tomato. I can't go wrong. Hey! I have a question. How are you? You look great. Thank you. Um, 
First, I want to say, I do not like mushrooms, but the way you just prepared that, yes, I'd be willing to eat them. Oh, so, well, they're so, really good. Um, with that being said, have you ever thought of, like, especially now when people really don't go out, like having some sort of meal prep where you can sell your meals to people? Um, the sauce, the sauce looks great. The sauce looks yeah. really good. So. Um, I have... I mean, it's it. We've talked about it, but it, I think it's a lot of work. I would need to, I need a partner to help me on that because I don't think I could do that personally. Also, she's been real tired lately. <laughs> and one thing I maybe sauce at some point. <laughs> one one thing I've been thinking about though doing is um, maybe for the next episode or maybe for two weeks from now is I'll put up a recipe and we could all make the dinner together. Um, I thought that would be kind of a fun way for everybody to kind of cook together and. Maybe do could, our maybe, fails and our maybe successes you could, maybe you could together teach people in one how to meal prep. Like you could prep it with them, and you could just make videos of meal prep, so you don't have to physically do it and ah, make it people yeah. do it themselves. Like you had that idea of having everyone go, give them the ingredients, mm-hmm. they go buy it, and then right. they cook it together. Right, exactly. That was your idea. Yes, I'm not even. That's why I just said that. I just wanted to say it again. Oh, okay, okay, yes. So maybe we could do that. Maybe we could even just do a couple <laughs> meal preps. Or we could cook a dinner together. But I'm trying to think of something that's easier to cook that's not so, um, lots of different ingredients. So maybe I'll start off with a small dessert. What's liquid smoke? Liquid smoke? Um, It's an ingredient and it has that smoky barbecue flavor and it is awesome. Like you open the bottle, can you grab it? The liquid smoke. Oh can you yeah, just yeah. Buy it at the store. Yeah, you can buy it at the store. It's it's um it's kind of like next to the Worcestershire sauce, and I'll show you. I'm gonna grab it from the kitchen right now. But it it smells like smoke, and it uh it, it's great. Anything that kind of has that smoky flavor that you kind of want it to emulate barbecue so- barbecue, you just throw that in. Last night I made um uh last night I made um. But like shrimp and grits, but it was with mushrooms and grits. And I used this in the mushrooms to make, give it kind of that good, I don't know, I'm from the South, so it kind of has that flavor to it. So it gave it a great flavor. And then, you know, some sherry, all the good stuff. But yeah. How are you doing, Kat, though? I'm so happy to see you. Yes, come here. I'm low. We can harvest mushrooms in our woods here. Oh, really? Oh, if everybody doesn't know, Kat is in Maine and she owns her own store. Um, my mom has known her um, since before she was born. <laughs> before she for, was born. Uh, Raquel's mom <laughs> through my baby shower. Yes. So it, it's just, it's amazing to see you and I really appreciate it. And your baby is so cute. I love her. Aww. And yeah, no, I'm so happy. And so she's an entrepreneur and we just really appreciate it. And um, she actually came to our gallery at Poppington in the Lower East Side too. So that's been Love fun. That. Oh and it's gosh. been fun to so stay connected over the years. Before your clothing. Yes, yes, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, oh, that's so exciting. Hi Raquel, I have a question. Yeah. Hi. Um, that looks great, definitely. I love veggies, but my husband does not like cooked vegetables. No. At all, so it's very hard to get him to eat a lot of the stuff I try to come up with. Okay. Um, but I have a question. It's, um, we've been talking about eventually trying to see if we can go vegan, even if it's for a little while, then come mm-hmm. back. But what is your recommendation on what are the best vegetables to kind of help in that transition, like coming from like big meat lovers? Okay, so the best way to trick a non-vegetable eater into eating it, I don't know if you want him in the frame right now, a blender. You blend up the vegetables and then you put it into the sauce. They don't know it exists. All of a sudden, they're like, wow, I feel great. I'm regular. I don't know what's going on. That's what the gravy is? That's why you be doing all that? Okay, so first, to get him to start... (laughs) To get him to start having the flavor and the taste of vegetables, you kind of have a desire for it. You have to um, mix it into like spaghettis, spaghetti sauces. I will always add in extra carrots into the sauce because you never know because that carrot has that orange flavor. I did not know that. Yes. No more carrots in my sauce. You don't know it's there. (laughs) (laughs) So you add in the extra vegetables, you blend it up. 
they don't know. You start slower and then you add, once they get the flavor for it, they you don't even know it's there. And then all of a sudden they're craving the vegetables and they say, oh, this tastes good. So um, vegetables are something that you just kind of have to learn to love, but your body will love them more than you, your mind. So, and smoothies are a great way. I like to put spinach in my smoothie. You can't even mm -hmm. taste it. Um, yeah. And that's an easy way to get people drinking and eating vegetables. Super yeah. easy. Spinach and kale. And that's high protein. You got lots yeah. of vitamins, lots of minerals, and those super green vegetables. Everything. I go with what you, they you tell always, you since You always try to sneak a squash kid. in my stuff. He always tries yeah. to sneak squash. Squash is hard for you. You don't like the texture, and I can't really get away and with beets. that And beets. You always want beets. I'm not playing with beets at all. No I don't beets. do beets. Beets are hard. I, I really have to mix those into the sauces, and then he knows because the sauce is like that bright pink color. But, yeah. um... Yeah, so vegetables, if you can try and blend it in slowly into certain dishes, um, you'll get away with it, you know. Cheese always helps on certain things yeah, for the people. Cheese. <laughs> you can get them with the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I have a question. Yeah. Um, what is the milk that you use I for use, the recipe? Um, in this one, I think I particularly I used ripple milk. But I have a new favorite milk. What's um, milk? It's not real milk. What's ripple milk? Ripple, what, what oh, is sorry. ripple milk? It's made from peas, yellow peas. Oh. Um, oh, okay. P-E-A. P-E-A, yeah. <laughs> Be clear. Pea. It's P-E-A, like peas, like if it wasn't clear. nothing else. <laughs> but um, okay. um, my new favorite, you want to grab the milk? Yeah. Two for two, I'll be really impressed if you get this one. <laughs> I want to show you this new milk that I really like. Um, and it's because it has only two ingredients. So the problem with um, certain milks that I don't like um, is you look at the back and it has a long list of ingredients of, you know, different gums that they put in to preserve it. We're talking about vegan milk. We're talking about vegan milk right now. Um, but this one is literally like you would make it from home. It's just almonds and water and that's it. And it, they ship it to you. Yeah, that's it. What did you think I said? Okay, we got it. Let's bring it. Just bring it. Don't no, just... no, 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 no. Oh, this okay. is my new favorite. So this one is my new favorite. And if you look... Show it to the live, too. Oh, okay. Sorry. This one... So this is the best part. Look at the ingredients. Filtered water and almonds. Okay, great. Nothing else. Because that... Cause I buy the almond milk, but it doesn't. I mean, right now I don't think it's a with me, so I'm just looking for something different. But when you said ziki milk, I didn't understand what it was. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And this one you can actually order it from them, and they'll deliver it to okay. your door, which is really nice. Nice. So it's, oh. I really like it, okay. especially now. I don't have to go to the grocery store. <laughs> but um, okay. so I don't use the pemic, the ripple milk as much right now. This is my personal favorite, and it froths up in coffee and whatever when you blend it. It's really foamy. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Hi, Rocky. Hey. Got a quick question. Yeah. Hey. So my husband has high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to know some alternatives um, to make some low sodium vegan dishes. Low that sodium. Can have. Vegan dishes. Mm. Mm. Whew, what to do to cut out salt? That's hard because I'm Puerto Rican, so we would put salt on everything. Um, I'd say, you know, I guess it's, I would first start like cutting salt from certain things. So um, there's salted butter um, that has a lot of extra salt and then you add extra salt onto it. So if you eliminate that and you get unsalted butter that can help lower your salt intake, then if you just try not to cook with so much salt, so you're only putting it on at the end, that could help. Um, the key to everything in life, I believe, is drinking more water. Um, if you can get him to flush his system out more and more and more, it'll help his blood. Um, and, and eating foods like, I know you don't like beets, but things that are rich in color help to flush the blood and help to clean the blood and um, make, make him more, uh, you know, detoxifying. Um, I'm a big fan of... What about vitamins? Vitamins are always really important. Um, men's multivitamins um, for your husband, and you should be taking some yourself. Uh, what else? You know, every morning I try to make sure I drink 
as soon as I wake up a glass of water to just start my body off right, um, that's immediate. Then, you know, throughout the day, trying to drink as many glasses of water as I can. If you drink some other type of drink, try and follow it with a, a glass of water as well. Um, that'll just kind of get your, your body flushed out. And then um, I love fruit. I'm a big fan of fruit as a healing um, nutrient. So as much fruit as you can eat to the point where it's not hurting your sugar or anything like that, I believe is really powerful. And does anybody else know? If, anyone um, else if anybody know? else knows some um, high, blood, high blood pressure kind of tricks, I don't really know. I haven't had to... I don't... I don't that. really know any high blood pressure, but you could do chlorophyll water. Chlorophyll water, yes. Chlorophyll water really helps clean the system and get that. everything moving again. Yeah, and um, everybody says Sharina, she's amazing. She makes me look beautiful a lot of the times. <laughs> not on quarantine, this is not her work. But um, yes, yeah, so, um, chlorophyll, it's an allergy, it's an allergy, it's an allergy that you can get and um, that's a good thing and you can put it in smoothies. You can't even taste it. Yep. You don't even uh, know it's there. And also do uh, sea moss powder. Sea moss is a powerful one. I have not gotten to venture into that one, but sea moss is something that is like, I feel like it's coming up as a huge superfood. Yeah. Um, Queen of Green, who I, you actually saw when I first met her here at the uh, Eat Drink Vegan Festival. Um, we met there and then we've actually remained friends. She has an amazing, she's an amazing chef, amazing chef. She's had her own TV shows on Food Network, everything. Um, but she, her and I did a talk show and she talks so much about Sima. She gets it from Jamaica, um, but she has a okay. specific Sima. She puts it in everything. She has it about three times a day. She really believes in Sima. Yes. It's really great in smoothies because the taste can be a little uh overpowering I'm sure <laughs> I haven't even gotten to try it yet but I, I definitely need to try it you can get it at um since you're in the follow your heart oh it's really in the valley yeah they have a great restaurant too yeah. And and for you know all those wives that want to get their men to be vegan, she just knows how to make real good ghetto gourmet. So all my all my ghetto dish, dishes, she makes them healthy, but they still feel hood. So I'm good. You know what I mean? Like today she's gonna make some. What's the Spanish thing you're gonna make for? Oh, people? I'm gonna make. Um, if my mom's still on, I'm making the Puerto Rican steak with rice and beans. But without the steak. But without the steak, I'm making it with the um. This some people don't are not happy about the Beyond Meat, but I'm making it with Beyond Meat, so I soak it in uh, vinegar and um, uh, vinegar, uh, garlic, and onions, and it soaks and marinates in there, and that's what I used to do with meat, but I've tried it, and it actually works for the Beyond Meat. And, and mushroom, mushrooms is like steak to me. Mushrooms, like if she replaces, it's like chicken. If you if you fry up some mushrooms, that's like buffalo wings. I mean, or rather like uh, chicken fingers. I love I love oh, any yeah. mushrooms is like meat. That's so my the replacement. Same type of mushrooms that I put in the barbecue sliders. Um, if you just do like a same type of mix you would do for fried chicken, like a buttermilk, you do the kind of um, mixture and you dip it in flour and then you fry it. It comes out insane. So we could do like a we like to do the fried chicken and waffles with the mushrooms instead of chicken instead of chicken or upon pancakes it's amazing and it, the texture is on point but yeah have you, have you tried jackfruit yet yes i have a hard time with jackfruit because he can't get past that it's a fruit it's a fruit a fruit can't be tasting like meat it tastes like mangoes so i do pulled pork i do the pulled pork sandwiches with jackfruit mm -hmm. she does and it. i let the jackfruit sit overnight mm -hmm. in a Ziploc baggie with all those sauces so that it soaks in everything. Yes. And, and we, then you cook it, you can't even tell. We actually have I, a I recipe can't get past it. next season with jackfruit, a Hawaiian dish. And um, oh. it's going to be great. And uh, Monique, who had asked what are other things to put on the sliders, that's jackfruit is a great one. And you can get them um, in the can form, organic can. Mm -hmm. I, I usually have to order on Amazon. Sometimes it's hard to find in the grocery store. But you get those, you marinate it. It comes out. I personally like it. I think Nicolette likes it. 
Damon, he'll eat like a couple of bites. I can't go past three bites of jackfruit. It's because I, for some reason, I or, I bought a big jackfruit one day because I wanted to experiment. It's, it's a, it's a, it's so a, por it's a porcupine watermelon. I can't, you know, that's what it is. We had so much fun eating it as a real fruit and it was so sweet. It was almost with a taste, it was almost like a mix between pineapple and mango. It was excellent. Um, but since then, <coughs> he hasn't been able to get over. It's in his head. Yeah. Yeah, it's in that. I'm trying to just texture. It. Texture means a lot to me. It. I don't know. Maybe I'll blend it up and just turn it into a mash. Tex texture means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Oh, what about the um the chicken? You did the fried potatoes, whatever. That was crazy too. It was like instead of chicken, it was it was like fried. Or... Oh, you you really like those um smashed potatoes? I just took little potatoes and uh, you boil them and then you smash them with a cup and then you put them in the uh, oven and they get all really golden and crispy. Um, almost like crunchy and he tastes just, like chicken. He loved it. I put gravy on top of it. That's about part about being vegan. You get really good at gravy. Actually, sauce. gravy is everything. You put gravy on anything, you're gonna think it's meat. The gravy is really what everybody loves. Is sauce. The thing I find, you have to like season everything as if it is meat. Yes. And it'll taste like normal. Mm. Yes, absolutely. But a little side order of yoga does the body good. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I love it. Mm -hmm. Is there any chat questions? Yeah, any, huh? any chat questions? Chat. Oh, there's chat. Oh, I didn't know this existed. Aww. <laughs> and if anybody else has a, a recipe they want to share or any, a vegan experience, anything cooking or, or Hi. yoga, please share. Hi, uh, it's Constantina. How are you? Um, I just wanted to add my husband is a vegan vegetarian. I'm not, although I'm pregnant and I'm trying to be more healthy. Oh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Um, so he, he, he had high blood pressure and he was able to lower it by reducing his salt, but he's been doing a lot more plant-based diet. So everything like raw vegetables, mm -hmm. Hasn't, he uses mushrooms and other like beans and he'll mash them and he'll use chickpeas a lot and we don't go for, in the can anymore. So everything is like we have like bowls of beans in the water. Oh, and he's, good. He's Panamanian. So, you know, so he's always cooking like stuff because he grew up with the grandmother that taught him a lot of this. That's amazing. He, he's, yeah, he suggested to me to try to do more raw vegetables and cook them and saute them and then the, the sauces and flavoring it mm -hmm. with mushrooms and chickpeas and blending stuff together yes. and that's he was able to do patties and other things that is more vegetable focused and he added like things like watercress swiss chard we eat bok choy um kale like all this stuff that we're constantly oh, mixing God. together i love so, it that's really good, yeah. and that, that actually might make sense about some of the canned stuff, so having extra sodium in it, so um, that's a good point. Yeah, we don't, we don't do any cans anymore. That's good. That's really good. We have, you know, we have a bishop in the building. I just, I, you know, he, I just don't know what the, a bishop, I just want to hear what he has to say. What's up, bishop? Uh, well, once again, um, this is amazing. I learned something about Hori I didn't know. <laughs> I know who he, I, I married them. I married them. I didn't know who yeah. he was vegan. <laughs> yeah, he's now like vegan. Vegan. Okay. And, and, and Dina's Greek, so uh, you can see how, how that's going. But um, I, um, <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger, my foods couldn't touch. And to this day, I've never in my life ever eaten mayonnaise or ketchup. <laughs> um, so a lot of people tell them I'm allergic to it. <laughs> so uh, when I, Whenever I see that, what what would be a substitute for uh, ketchup for someone? Tomato who, uh, sauce. Who you, actually fears it? Do you do you like tomato sauce? Do you like marinara sauce? I the first time I ever ate spaghetti, my mom cooked it all the time. But the first time I ever ate ate it uh, when I was twenty five years old. Like Maybe not. I think, I, I think I ate spaghetti after I came back from America. Wait, wait, you eat cheeseburgers without no mayonnaise or ketchup or veganaise or ketchup? Bread and, and bread and meat. Thing. Back in the day, oh, man. there was no such thing as that. Then Burger King came out and their whole thing was, have it your way. You would go to White Castle and say, take off the onions and ketchup. Like, what was wrong with you? We don't do that. McDonald's eat. Back in the day, um, you couldn't, 
you couldn't order a sandwich the way that you want it. And mm. that's what made Burger King unique. Interesting. <laughs> Burger King would say, have it your way. Interesting. Yeah. That's what the old time is out there doing. That would be a challenge. But, um, that would be a challenge. I have no idea. My, my wife knows I'm a, I'm a picky eater. Um, I'm proud of all of you vegans. Keep me up in prayer. <laughs> I still... Uh, <laughs> All it takes is a couple of good meals and you're, you, you don't even know. And, and watch with the health. Yes. And watch with the health, but I also know that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I love listening and everything, but uh, you guys are trying to get as close to me as you can. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's like, man, it I should like have said what? It's in like the kill. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what, what, what Rocky wanted to bring to your attention, Bishop, is in the Bible it says, thou shalt not kill. It doesn't just say thou shalt not kill humans. I, you know, they might say thou shalt not kill anything if you don't have to. Hey, uh, Dave, I just want to say something to all. Hey, Rocky. First Hi. Hey. Oh, my God. Good to see you. Yes, yes. But first of all, let me just say this to all the vegans and all the people that are listening to this. You know, my wife has been vegan and she's hardcore. She's into Ayurvedic like our Ayurvedic lifestyle. Oh wow. So she understands it in and out. She's a big yogi. She got me doing yoga, which Damon will never see on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get me. But let me just say this. Also, just for everybody that that's trying to be vegan, I'm gonna suggest you guys go and really learn your blood types so you understand how your body reacts to certain things mm -hmm. like meat and vegetables. It's we're not monolithic. We're not we're all one type. We all have different types of body types and certain things we do need and we don't need. And so just learn that. And the, in the Ayurvedic world, it's called your dosha. Learn your dosha. Learn things about how you eat, what makes you react, how your body reacts to certain food, and that'll help. Who told you that, Lazy? Your wife told you that? Hey, listen, I'm, I'm don't try to get on here fronting because your wife told you something. It's, it's quarantine. <laughs> he tried to... I could have said that too, because Rocky could have told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to give with a straight face. <laughs> okay, Yogi. Okay, what are you saying? All right. I don't so, know. Does anybody else have any questions? So, but that's actually a really good point. You know, your bodies all react to different, different things, different foods. Some people are allergic to mushrooms, which is. Hard and Wait, what was that you were allergic to that you were eating so much of and then you had to test your blood? It made you upset. I mean, remember? Okay, I was, my body does not like a lot of celery and I was trying to do the medical medium, have a glass of celery juice every day. It was not working. All of a sudden my stomach was hurting. I was having bad, bad issues in the bathroom and it was just like, it really, it was almost, it was almost, I used to have really bad stomach problems and then I, when I started eating straight organic and then started eating more um, vegan vegetarian, I had eliminated that from my life. But then all of a sudden, once I started drinking celery juice every single morning, it all started coming back and I didn't know what it was. So I went to a um, nutritional response uh tester and uh, what they do is they actually use food as the medicine so your body reacts to food by just being in the presence by just having the energy around it so um she would put the actual food next to um i think it, it's a like a blood vessel with where your veins and everything move and then she would react she would move your arms up or down different depending what on your body's reaction you either have a positive reaction to it or a negative reaction to it and everything I was trying to eat, like all these juices I was trying to make were just actually making it worse. So um, I had to heal my body from that in order to be able to drink them fairly regular, but I have to kind of stay clear of it. So not everybody works for the celery juice. So that, that, that comes to the point, you're trying to be healthy, you might yeah. be hurting yourself. Yes, exactly. Good point, Lays. Yeah. So you want to wrap it? Or what um, yeah. If, Anybody else have any more questions? I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, I would like to try and do another one where we could maybe even all cook a meal. I'm going to think about something that will be easier for us to do together. Um, and you go to Health as Wealth, Dame Dash Studios. Go to Studio. Health as Wealth on Dame Dash Studios. If you want to see more, this was the ninth episode. I have more. And uh, ladies, there is two episodes that Damon is doing yoga with me. So wow. if you want to I see that. I thought you were with me. Yeah, go but check those great, out. So. Go check those out. You'll see how much yoga I was doing. <laughs> so those are my, my, some of my <laughs> Go ahead. You know it would never hit the screen if I didn't look cool. <laughs> but those are some of my favorite episodes.
good. So <laughs> if you guys tune in, um, we went through a lot of different recipes this season. Um, we had some of my favorite and the biggest bangers were the vegan crab cakes. Then we had um, uh, coconut curry, uh, cauliflower. Then we had um, we had the sliders, and we had um, chocolate chip cookies. We had what are some of the other? Oh, I made dog treats for your dog. Some ve vegetables for your dogs to eat. Those are not vegan. I do have um, bone broth in there for your dogs because they're not going to just instinctually eat vegetables. They need something to pull them in. But the vegetables are really good for detoxing them, especially if your dogs have allergies right now, like mine are going through. Um, skin irritations, those things help to clear that out so they can almost, it's almost like a reset. Um, and and what about what's coming up in Hawaii? The Hawaii um, one. Yes, and then next season, um, we are doing, with, we're doing four episodes with Kat. Um, Hawaiian dishes, which are really excited. We'll have a jackfruit recipe. We have some um, rice recipes. We have some those awesome noodles from Hawaii that are like clear that are just totally Hawaiian to me. Um, and we get to see a recap of kind of our our um, travels in Hawaii and where we got to talk with Taj Mahal and our healing and everything that we went through um, and how Hawaii really helped us bring us together. Exactly. Yeah. When is um starting on two? When is season three gonna come out? Um we're editing it right now. I'm working with That's Camilla. Um, yeah, it depends how fast Camilla is edits. Line right now. Um but we're trying really to, get, to it. it's gonna be great. Um so Camilla is working on our first episode right now. Um so stay tuned. I will let you know. But hopefully we have a, a rough coming up soon. And uh, hold this and I I wanna just close it up with this. Um, you know, those that know us know that, you know, life hasn't been all roses. It's been pretty much a rough time for a lot of people, but especially us. And, you know, Rocky's been a warrior. She's kept the most positive outlet on life. We went to Hawaii. We healed. You know, we were productive. And we're really proud to say that right now, uh, Rocky's in her second trimester. She's pregnant. Yay! And that's, that's, you know, just watching her go through what she's went through and <laughs> we went through and just look at her. She's still... Not faded. She's good money. So n no one had time to feel sorry for her. She, she, I, I'm, I'm, she's way stronger than me, you know. So I just want y'all to know what, 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 what God looks like to me. You know oh, what I'm saying? That's what it is. You. The creator of life. So thank you for coming through. Thank you for being our friends. Yes. And, you know, what we're trying to do is just give back what's making us feel good. You know, love, uh, the, the health, and just having a great relationship. And, and we're having a ball. This is like ha happily ever after. To me, I, I wake up every day and I'm, I, I wake up to a dream. So I love y'all, and yes, I'm on my Ronnie romance, and uh, I, ho I hope it's contagious. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, health is wealth, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate Thank it, you. and everybody have a great Thank weekend. Stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye, Nicolette's mom. And if y'all want, y'all can just have. Why don't y'all just have open conversation okay, after? Okay, we can talk. Let's just talk. Just talk. Oh, we can just talk. So. Now let's talk. <laughs>